What's good, y'all? This is Josh, and I'm here with Bailey Vogt from the Akron Volleyball Team. First things first, thanks for sitting with me. Um, how you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I'm glad to be here. How are you doing? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Um, let's get right into the questions, honestly. So you committed to Akron as a junior in high school, and that's a long way from home for you. So, like, what is it that made you choose Akron? Yeah, so I did want to be a ways away from home. I wanted to experience something different than Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, but I came on my visit and I just honestly fell in love with the campus and the people. They were funny, they were awesome to be around and that's what honestly made it. So after I came home, I was like, man, I can really see myself there the, the next chapter in my life. And so it was just the people and, and the environment that really made it what it is. That's dope, I love that for you. <laughs> anyway, you registered your freshman year and you had an immediate impact on the court. Like, you're leading the team in assists, so what is it like to have such a big role on the team as such a young player? Honestly, it can be, it can be difficult at times, you know, but we're all going through new. Uh, we had a new hire, new coach, new staff, and we're learning new system, new offense, but my other setter that I work with, um, Avery Brown, she's also technically a freshman like me, and I feel like we're doing a pretty good job, you know, connecting with our hitters and putting them in positions where they can succeed. Um, again, it's definitely difficult at times, but I think it's a good thing that we're so young because if we're young, we can take this time now to like grow and develop our connections. That way we can be really successful in the next couple years. So one thing I did notice about collegiate level sports is the travel is grueling. Yeah. And from what I, <laughs> all right, and from what I've seen, it seems like volleyball might have one of the most demanding travel schedules. So with that being said, how do you deal with the stress that comes with travel? Um, definitely time managing. That is like the key to success. So if you're getting on a bus, say we went to NIU, that's a six and a half hour bus ride. You can't be on your phone on TikTok for six and a half hours or taking a nap for six and a half hours. Although. That would be nice. You gotta, you gotta time manage. So you gotta knock a paper out. You gotta get those assignments done. You definitely have to time manage, because if you don't do that, then you're stressing about, oh crap, I got that paper due Sunday at 11:59 when you should be focusing on, okay, my opponents and the game. So definitely just time managing. But when it gets to be a little overwhelming, just take like a minute and just like call someone you love to talk to. Go for a walk. Go get some food. Go get some coffee. And you know, just like. Take a breather, take a minute, and then reset. But time managing is definitely key. You gotta be good at managing your time. What do you think that the team needs to focus on to be more successful in the future? Honestly, it comes down to two things, consistency and execution. We've proven in the past that we can do great things. We went out and we beat Western Michigan, who finished top five in our conference last year and we beat Kent State, our rivals, in three sets. We've proven that we can do great things. We competed with Ohio, we competed with Ball State, we competed with these good teams, but honestly, it's about being consistent. So we gotta come out the same way in the first set as we do in the third or fourth set and stuff like that. And then when it comes down to it, we gotta make the smart plays, get, be in the right place at the right time to make the plays we need to make. Gotcha. Well, I definitely hope I can see more of that in the future. Um, and we gotta wrap this up on a positive note. <laughs> so one thing I noticed about the team is how close you and all the other girls are. So if you had to pick a moment, what's your favorite moment with your teammates? Oh, there's there's so many, like on and off the court. Like we hang out off the court all the time, especially in the spring. Like we go to each other's houses and hang out and we like to go shopping on our days off and like do fun stuff like that. But honestly, if I had to pick one this season, It'd be in the locker room after our win against Western because we were going through some adversity that week. Earlier that week, we lost to Buffalo. That was a really tough loss for us. And we were dealing with stuff in the classroom and kind of outside circumstances. So that was a really hard week for our team, hard practices. And I feel like that win just really was what we needed to pick our energy up and like prove to ourselves that, hey, we're a good team and like we're capable of you know, holding this level of competition. And it was just really what brought us together and like really picked our spirits up. That's dope, I love to see it. Anyway, y'all, this is Josh with the ZTV Sports Report. Once again, I wanted to thank Bailey for coming out, talking to of me. Of course, yeah. All right, peace. Go Zips, <laughs> woo! <laughs>